Ladies and gentlemen, if you clicked on this video, congratulations. I'm about to teach you the most valuable lesson you will learn today. And that lesson being, whenever you see a love disc coming at you full speed, you turn around, you take your Pokemon, and you run. <laughs> what is happening, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today, we have an interesting match here. I got a brand new team. Essentially, I was like, you know, I'm going to try to take one of the most uncool, useless Pokemon ever and make it do some stuff. So, uh, I have an interesting rain team here. Uh, opponent is working with a couple pretty big threats. Um, I'm afraid of things like the Yan Mega. Obviously, there's a Jolteon. Sharpedo after some speed boost can be always you know, a problem maker. So, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the battle. So, I'm going to be leading off with my Persian here because I'm quick. I can get a fake out on whatever they decide to lead with and then potentially get a pivot going. So, uh, they actually end up leading off with the Jolteon. And that's probably because this thing does really well against my team. Um, so I'm going to just go right for the fake out here. Actually, with the, you know, just that nice little stab on the Persian is going to be able to do nearly half to Jolteon, which uh, is amazing. Now, if I had just a, a standard normal move, I could have gone for that. But I have to just go right for the pivot here. And this actually kind of puts me in a pretty bad spot. Number one, because I don't really have much on this team that wants to switch into an electric attack from a Jolteon. Thing hits super hard, and as you'll notice, yeah, most of my team, you know, doesn't enjoy that. So, I decide that Armor Abs is probably the best dude to go into. He comes in flexing, ready to take it, as they actually end up going for Volt Switch. It's actually nice that it wasn't Thunderbolts. Uh, unfortunately, when you get this slower pivot, they are able to um, kind of go last and then decide a matchup based off of that pivot. So, uh, they decide to go into the Sharpedo, and now I find myself in a situation that I really was kind of... Uh, dreading and wanted to avoid, but uh, I gotta just kind of allocate as much of my team as I can to, I guess, just get rid of this half of this damn shark over here. Um, so, looking at my team, really nothing wants to switch into a crunch from this thing, let alone uh, liquidation, anything this thing has. So, I stay in here, I just go for the X Scissor. Um, that thing is going to take care of me with the crunch. So, Armaldo, it's not gonna be his day. Uh, it does get used for death fodder, but that is fine. So, this thing's over here. Speed boosting, he's the ult, he called this dude the Spood Beast, and uh, that's not great. After two speed boosts, even with the uh, the Swift Swim, I'm not going to be able to outspeed. So, I decide to go into the Bubblegum here. Comes out looking nice and dapper. Honestly, great, shiny, fantastic Pokemon, and he makes it rain on these hoes. Uh, so, he's got a lot going for him. So, uh, I'm just going to go right for a Scald. I know that in the rain, Sharpedo is going to take, likely, uh, probably about 90%, plus... Uh, with the Life Orb recoil, this thing is not going to last too long. Actually, like around 80% from the Scald. So, I am able to take at least one Crunch, and I just shoot some uh, some hair water right at him. It's kind of funny how Scald just comes out of uh, the top of <laughs> Politoed's head. Um, so, that actually does a good grip of damage there. Unfortunately, I do not get the burn, which you just hate to see. It's like, why, even, why am I even using hot water if it doesn't burn you? The fuck? Uh, so I realized that Politoed is going to be very important for me in this match to be able to get up uh, the rain. The rest of my team obviously relies on that rain support. So I decided to go into my Puthy and <laughs> actually just take a bite right out of my Puthy. And right after eat, after taking a bite out of my Bubblegum, just chewing my Bubblegum and then just choose my Pussy. So it just, it's not looking great over here. Uh, I decided that Persian was probably the best option for a sack there considering... Um, it's mostly just for secondary rain support. It's got the damp rock as well. Um, and it's just great for priority fake outs and stuff. But now I have a tough decision. I decide to go into fuck yeah Sea King. I know that Sea King can take at least one attack from this thing, hopefully. Um, and then it knocks itself out with the life warp. Now, I consider just going right for the swords dance. Would have been a great play, knowing that Sharpedo was obviously going to go first. And then knock itself out to the life warp. But I know that they have this asshole laying around, which is... Uh, Gonna be carrying priority in the form of fake out. So obviously, even had I got the swords dance up, they would just go right into this thing, fake me out, and then that is some death. So honestly, the team is not performing great at the moment. There's definitely some big holes uh, in this strategy that I'm having to work around here. But as long as I still have at least one Pokemon with me that can benefit from the rain, I can make it happen. And now it is time, boys. I bring in the absolute legend, the myth. Gadnook, the breaker of worlds, comes in. I know I can outspeed because of my swift swim ability. I go for the hydro pump. Rocking that choice specs item. That is going to be absolute overkill on that kitty. And uh, Love Disc is able to give that cat a bath it will not soon forget. And uh, it's all coming together here, boys. It's all coming together. So, uh, in comes Yan Mega. Now, I know that these things are going to be obviously speed boost as well, carrying uh, 
detect or protect or whatever is gonna go for that turn one and uh, that's only gonna prolong the pain my dude Gadnuck does not care about your protects he's over here just swaying he looks like a little he's got he kind of looks like a butt he's over here just having a good time so uh, turn two I am actually still faster with the swift swim I'm still able to outspeed even with the speed boost. So Gadnik says, I don't give a shit about your speed boost, man. I land another Hydro Pump, and that takes care of the Yan Mega. So, so far, uh, speed shenanigans are working on a team that is carrying actually two speed boost Pokemon, which is kind of ridiculous. But now in comes an Infernape. Now there's a scary Pokemon, but Gadnik obviously doesn't give a shit. I just go right for the Hydro Pump. I do connect once again. Uh, able to outspeed, and that takes care of the Infernape. So, freaking Love Disk is out here just having a go at it. Uh, but unfortunately, the rain stops, and that's kind of like when the fun stops because, you know, Love Disk likes staying moist out here, and now he's just out here drying up. So, in comes the Jolteon. Uh, still a very scary Pokemon, but essentially, my game plan is this if I can conserve uh, Politoed to be able to get up a Drizzle, uh, Love Disk could potentially come in, and if all things go well, uh, continue that little late game sweep. So, I decided to go into Rapidash. The reason for that is because I know since there's no Stealth Rock up, I should be able to live at least one attack. And since I'm Choice Scarf, uh, I can hit hard in return. So, they actually end up going for the Volt Switch. Pegasus says, damn Yugi boy, that shit hurted. Uh, it knocks me down to red. As now they're down to, obviously the last two Pokemon is going to be this Donphan and the Jolteon. So, uh, I have the Politoed, Love Disk, and this Rapidash left. Now, when Don Fan comes in, main priority here is going to be wanting to break the Sturdy. So, I just go right for a Flare Blitz here. Going to be able to do, a, honestly, a pretty big chunk of damage to a you know, fully defensive uh, Don Fan. Rapidash is another Pokemon that never gets enough love. He does not have access to Wild Charge in this game, which honestly is a real big kick to the nuts. Um, but still, it does pretty well. So... Uh, goes for the knockoff there, is able to take care of Rapidash, but honestly that's kind of what I needed. Because uh, this allows me a free, a free switch into my little alfalfa looking homie to get up that drizzle. Which is going to obviously stay around for 8 turns, and that's going to be more than enough for Love, Love Disk to feast. So, uh, Politoed comes in, able to make it rain on these hoes of course. And Don Fan may be shaped like a wheel, but he still be about slow as shit, so Politoed is able to outspeed. One nice little extra hot water will take care of it. And now all they have left is going to be that Jolteon. So, of course, Politoed is not going to be outspeeding any Jolteons anytime soon. But you know who does? His motherfucking Love Disk. So, in comes Speed Flash. Uh, kind of funny that this thing's name is Speed Flash. Because uh, the, <laughs> the speed is what kills uh, the Jolteon in the end. So, um, I'm just going to basically go right for a Scald. Let Politoed die. That's all I essentially need to do. It's kind of hilarious that Love Disk is essentially my win condition here. <laughs> Um, and that does take care of the Politoed, but now it's time. I've got a Love Disc, and I've got a Dream. It's me against the world, and Gadnook's gonna come out in his super sick shades. Honestly, I would love to see a Love Disc repping the choice specs, looking out, looking, looking swaggy. All right, so I come in, and obviously, my, my speed is too much to handle. Speed Flash says, damn, I can't handle that shit. I go right for the Ice Beam here, just because I've gotten really lucky on all the Hydro Pumps so far. I don't want to roll the, the dice on that, and probably get a miss uh, so I go for the specs ice beam it is enough to take care of the Jolteon and that is gonna be the end of the match there so I thought that was kind of just a fun one I don't know this team is extremely interesting to use um, there's a lot of fun Pokemon in here that can can definitely shine I, I know this dude was punching the air seeing like half more than half of his team go down to a love disc it's probably probably not something he saw coming but anyways thank you guys very much for watching uh, I do appreciate all the support on these videos. If you could, remember to leave a like on the video. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to have some more battles coming out soon. Peace out.